Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. This is our lecture number 21. Actually, this lecture is a continuation of lecture number 29, 30 and this is our lecture number 21. In this lecture, we are discussing the star view and GCG characteristics of our example which has, we have taken in lecture number 20. And in this lecture, we will see selecting the pickup value of a current coordination time interval between protective devices how we can set the coordination time interval between the protective devices and how we can uh, put the settings of a uh, phase and ground protection settings okay before starting the lecture i have a way i want to ask you a small question the question is what is the ratio of ct used in 63 kv distribution transfer on ht and lt side the options are option a is 5 by 5 100 by 5 and option b is 7.5 by 5 and 150 by 5 and option d c is 250 by 5 and 200 by 5 and option d is 25 by 5 and 250 by 5 you have to select the right answer and put in the comment the if they were answered is correct you uh, i can pin the comment and like the comment and also uh, we can put the answer of this uh, question in our telegram channel on next Sunday The link of the telegram channel and the whatsapp group is given in our description. You can join there Now coming to our lecture This is the example which we are discussing here from lecture number 29 or from lecture number 29 in the previous lecture number 30 we have discussed this portion and we have perform the TCC characteristics and settings of this portion. Now we are moving to this portion. So first of all, I will select this portion. Uh, one minute. Like this and go to star, uh, create star view. And here you can see there are one more uh, curve is uh, displaying here. This is the cable curve. I can disconnect it. I want to do not want to show it. I go to the devices and select the cable appearances. One minute cable face and click OK. Now it has been disabled. First of all, I can zoom the this portion, SLD portion, and put it here so that for better clarity. So you can see here uh, the relay curve, this curve, this is the relay curve, you can select here, this is the relay curve, okay, this one is the relay curve, it is below the phase curve, this is the phase curve. As per the coordination rules, the uh, relay curve should be above the phase, uh, fuse curve, because the fuse curve, fuse is our downstream device, protective device and relay is the upstream protective device. So our relay, our uh, coordination, uh, coordination, the fuse curve should be below the relay curve. So I can shift it here. I can select the, the curve and shift it above the phase curve. Okay. Now I can set, uh, set the pickup value. Up. I can go to this in the we are in phase mode and I can select the pickup value as one and the coordination time into and time diode as 0.25 and click ok ok now our um, uh, relay curve is above the phase curve and the relay curve is not touching the phase curve second thing is that if you select here uh, observed here the relay curve is extremely inverse curve this uh, curve can be selected on the basis of the down uh, uh, downstream protective device this here the downstream protective device is our fuse this fuse Curve should the relay curve should move exactly with the fuse curve. It should be closely matching with the fuse curve. The fuse curve now you can see that we have selected the extremely inverse characteristics here. Curve you can select here extremely inverse curve and you can select any one of curve which matches with your downstream vector to device. Then that is okay. Now one more question here is the coordination time interval what will be the coordination time interval between downstream uh, protective device and the upstream protective device here we have two protective device one is relay and that is the fuse what should be the protective what should be the coordination time interval between these two protective devices for that IEEE has given some guidelines i will show you 
This is a condition time interval as per the IEEE standard 242-2001. Here the downstream uh, uh, devices are written and here the upstream devices are written. The, in the downstream devices you can see our downstream uh, device is fuse and our upstream device is static relay or a numerical relay and the coordination time should be 0 0.1 to second less. Okay. So we can say uh, have to set uh, the this coordination time interval between static relay or a relay and the fuse. Now how we can set the this uh, coordination time interval between these two. First of all you can see here I can zoom it little bit for you. You can see here there are two fault currents and I can want to display the fault layer current and go like this it here this 42.084 and here the fault current is 16 this fault there, there is a difference in the fault current because of this cable this cable because of this cable there is, there is difference in the fault current is in the fuse and the, in the relay okay now first of all we have to know what is the coordination time interval between uh, fuse and relay first of all for that we need to check this we can select a cross here here and go to here one minute I can we have to select here and I can see here the coordination time I will zoom it for you the coordination time it all is 0 0.04 around, around 0 0.05 but our coordination uh, time interval should be should be 1.2 as per the IEEE standard. So what we can do, we can select this relay curve and move it upwards like this. Now we can check the coordination time interval. It is around 1.1. So we have little bit again move it off. Okay, I will check again. It is 0.125, almost 1.0.12 okay now this relay has been set for the uh, we can select here it is we are in three phase mode so this setting is for the phase mode phase and now we want to uh, put the settings in the ground we can click here and we are in now ground mode here the only one curve is uh, displaying now if you want to display the ray fuse curve also we can double click here and go to devices and go to fuse and appearances and ground mode and click ok now our uh, fuse curve is also displayed same problem is here that our relay uh, and our relay curve is below the phase uh, fuse curve so we can move it up and so that it should be over the okay now we can move it up and this relay curve and the fuse curve are not touching each other at any point. So I can double click here relay and go to the ground. In the ground we can put suppose it the pickup value of 65 and time dial of 1.5 and click OK. Okay, see you can see here there is no not touching each other. You can zoom it not touching each other okay now one more feature here is now we have set both phase settings and ground settings for this relay and the fuse one more feature is that you can double click on it and go to info and in the info you can lock it now okay now you cannot able to change the settings of the relay because you have locked it you can see here if you go to OCCR it is not allowing us to change the settings because we have locked it one more thing is that you have generally seen the TCC curves are with grid lines but here no grid lines are displayed you can double click on the TCC curve and grow the uh, grid and then click display and click ok now you are seeing that the uh, grid curves are displaced one more thing is the here is written as star 11 if you want to change the name of the star 11 you want name as per your 
choice you can double click here and name it and what you want i will name it tcc2 okay and you can also enter the project name logo whatever you want display here all the things will be displayed as per your choice click okay okay now in the second uh, like in next number 20 th 31 we will cover this portion and it will finish the relay correlation thank you